Mustang. Mustang is coming. The unexpected, the new Ford Mustang at your Ford dealers. Mankind's relationship to automobiles is not so different from our relationship to animals. Horses are useful and also fun to ride. Still a good reason to saddle up and gallop away. And this is the joy and excitement the makers of Ford's Mustang promised to car buyers. And it wasn't expensive and looked really great. The right car at the right time after all the chromed opulence of the 50s. It was unveiled at the World's Fair in 1964, and the miracle which the car makers worldwide had dreamed of came to pass. Ford's new model was an instant success. This is the car that dreams are made of. Test drive one right now at your Ford dealers in Pleasant Dream. It was the automobile the American buyer had been waiting for, although they hadn't known it. On the very day it was launched, Ford wrote 40,000 orders. This was an achievement never before reached and never since matched by any other car maker. The plan was to manufacture 100,000 Mustangs annually, but that turned out to be far too few. Dealers were forced to auction each new car, and at the beginning, for each car sold, there were 15 willing buyers. And what did the lucky ones get for their two and a half thousand dollars? A finely tuned ride and good brakes were conspicuous by their absence, but the buyers seemed not to miss these features. Just the Mustang look was enough for most of them, and there was a powerful V8 available as an option. I went to the beach with Albert, some big muscle guy was always kicking sand in his face. It made me so mad. Albert's a Mustanger now. He bought a beautiful Mustang convertible, one of three Mustangs for 65. Nothing soft about this car, except the all vinyl interior and the carpeting. Put a few kicks in your life. Take a Mustang out for a little road work. Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. The Mustang introduced a new breed of automobile, the pony cars. Compact, reasonably priced, four-seater sports coupés. Nothing like them had been seen before in America. It was a market segment which had never been catered to. Long hood, short boot, the designers caught the mood of the times to perfection. What the Ford designers molded and crafted in the early 60s was a two-seater mid-engined automobile with a modest two-liter V4 motor. But it was a design which could easily evolve. Lee Iacocca, who later rescued Chrysler, was the father of the Mustang, and it is his memorial. It was he who insisted that as well as having a sporty design, the car must be fit for normal everyday driving. And that meant a decent-sized boot. After all, Americans love to shop, and they have their hobbies, too. The interior was 60s pure. The gear shift causes raised eyebrows. What? Only three speeds? But no more than three were really needed. Everything else is design, design, design. Here's some chrome, there's some plastic, and everything young and playful. So it seems to our contemporary eyes. The seats for four occupants look sporty, but are surprisingly comfortable. Here, too, emphasis was placed on satisfying the all-American driver. To ease entry and exit, Ford let the front seats tilt asymmetrically forward. In this version, the top was operated manually. In spite of its considerable size, the operation is quite easy. And even with the top closed, the Mustang cuts a trim figure. She's all sweet and six cylinder Mustang, power packed and really stacked. Sweet 
six cylinder Mustang, low gas diet, made me try it. Sweet six cylinder Mustang, you're my kind of car. Yes, you really are. Why don't you come in and see what a terrific deal the Ford dealer will give you in a new Mustang? Pick out any one you like. All except this one. This one's mine. Sweet six cylinder Mustang, power pack and really stack. Sweet six cylinder Mustang. The basic motorization was a six cylinder inline engine, 170 cubic inches, about 2.8 liters. This gave a modest 90 horsepower, and it sounded nothing like a V8. As well as the convertible model, there was an appealing coupe and a racy fastback. In short, something for every American car buyer's taste. The list of optional extras was as seductive as the advertising spots promoting the Mustang feeling. For those who didn't like the three-speed gearbox, there was an automatic drive version. The Ford Mustang is a comfortable cruiser. High revs, however, over-challenged the six-cylinder motor and performance hardly exceeded a top speed of 150. But never mind. The Mustang convertible is a lifestyle statement. Enjoy good vibrations, live for the moment, buy something cool, a Mustang. Get your kicks on Route 66. few kicks in your life. Take a Mustang out for a little road work. Mustang. Mustang. Mustang.